we've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Nine of Wands, and it's with a Knight of Cups. Also, some people say they have a hard time hearing me. Please, if you have any headphones, use them. It will help with the, with the sound. Some people say they can hear me well. Some people say they have a hard time hearing me. When I play the videos back, I can hear me loud and clear. So, I don't know what's going on. But if you have any headphones, by all means, use them. So... Like I said, Nine of Wands paired with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Nine of Wands, when this comes up, when this comes up and you're reading, the first and the best step is usually to just take a deep breath, calm down, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Now, now it's with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is very optimistic, good card to see in a reading. This one actually comes with messages. It's a... Okay, sorry about that. I had uh, interference. Okay, so. Knight of Cups. It's a message bearer. It's the kind of good news that we all want to receive. Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going to be going well. You are likely to be feeling really good. Charged up. Ready for action. This card, it can mean good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So, it's likely to be headed your way soon. So, basically, the recent past energy, Libra, between you and your person, Nine of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups. So, what I'm getting for you two is that I'm feeling that for some of you, your person, they, they were reaching out to you. They, they were on their way. They're rushing in. Wanting to be romantic and sensitive towards you. But because this Nine of Wands is showing up here, yeah, you kind of had the, the attitude like you're not letting this person get past your barricade. Yeah, you've barricaded yourself in. They're knocking at the door, wanting to be with you, being romantic and sensitive. You kind of like look through the people and you see it's them and you go back to doing your laundry or whatever it was you were doing. With this Nine of Wands, you're not budging. You just sat there. And you listen while they knocked. So, the person was reaching out to be with you. And I guess you were upset about something, so you just let them knock. And you, you locked yourself in. 
You didn't open the door. Yeah. So, they wanted to be with you and you closed yourself off. That's the recent past energy. So, we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up. So, we got the Nine of Pentacles and it's with the Lovers. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is actually one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. It can mean that your financial worries, they're over, over for a while. So, things should be going better than you thought possible. Enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth, share your happiness with others. Because we give back what we give. Now, this is the Lover's card, which is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini the Twins. It is possible that when you get this card in a reading, you could be feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing, and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. And it's saying when you can choose, it's safe to choose love. Especially when you get this card in the reading. Because it's a time that's likely to bring love in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So, this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. So, coming up, Nine of Pentacles clarified by the lovers. So, I'm getting that for some, some of you, this person that you closed yourself off and have some anxiety about, have some anxiety about them coming towards you. Um, you might be feeling that this person is your, is a strong soulmate because the lover's card is here. With the, with the lover's card, It could mean falling in love. So maybe you, maybe you fell in love with this person. Something happened, maybe you two had a fight, but you closed yourself off. And it looks like you're kind of just thinking about how you wanted the relationship to go to the next level. Because that's what you get with the Nine of Pentacles. So you feel this person is a soulmate. And like I said, coming up you might just start thinking or maybe you're, you're waiting for it to become better. With this Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, or you're just wanting it to be better. Because you feel they're a soulmate. So let's see what the challenge is. Yeah, for the challenge, we got the Five of Cups. And it's with the Emperor. Now the Five of Cups is a card that reminds us where we put our focus in life. Actually has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could ask yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? Now, the implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk, or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? Now, the point is, is that you have to watch where you put your focus. Make sure the focus is for your highest good. Because the Five of Cups is about some type of disappointment. Now, it's with the Emperor. Now, the Emperor shows the domination over the mind. Over the heart is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. 
In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you need to think about when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important to maintain your concentration. And also your focus. Now, the Emperor signals this. But he also signals that it's going to be a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the Emperor is the type that only uses his head and not his heart. So, enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that this self-control and focus is going to bring. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So, basically the challenge five of cups with this emperor. So, like I said, Libra, your person, they left a bad taste in your mouth. And you're trying to focus on the positive, but then there's a negative that keeps popping up. So it's about trying to make a decision. Yeah, you could feel like the connection could be at a loss. You could be feeling grief. Maybe abandoned or unloved by a person. There's some disappointment here. Um, so you might, with this emperor here, for some of you, you're going to just decide to close your heart. Yeah, you're going to go cold on your person. Yeah, the emperor is cold. He only uses his head, not his heart. So, you're at a point where you could be missing this person. Yeah, you didn't answer the door when they knocked. Yeah, you closed yourself in the house. And you ignored them. So you're trying to figure out coming up, do I focus on the positive or do I focus on the negative? Yeah. So it's, it's saying that you're going to try not to use your heart anymore with this person. Something they did disappointed you. Yeah, you're going to be really cold. The emperor is cold. The emperor is the type of person... That would rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart. Point blank. And I'm going to leave it at that about the Emperor. So we move on over and we take a look at the outcome. So we got this star card and it's with the Ace of Swords. Now the star card, you could find yourself feeling inspired, hopeful about the future. More than you have in a while. So you'll be feeling confident that your needs are being met. Whether it's emotional, financial, or both. They're being met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted. But it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This is also a spiritual card. You could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. Now, it's with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. Could be on several fronts. Sometimes it's a new beginning. It gets started by a separation of some kind. Could it be from a relationship, from a job situation? But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually good beneficial energy that's going to get you to where you want to go and where you need to be. 
So the outcome, the star card clarified by the Ace of Swords. So yeah, you don't like the, the energy. You don't like the space that you're in, Libra. You don't like the mood that this, that this disappointment has put you in. You don't like the way you're feeling. Yeah, you're looking to feel like the star that you've once felt when you were with this person or before you met this person. Yeah, you don't like your energy at all. So, you could be, when you two do finally communicate again, it's showing that you might let them know that there's, there's certain things that has to be stopped. Certain things need to be cut out. Yeah, if they want a new beginning with you or if they want um, or if they want a fresh start with you, yeah, things have to be certain things have to be cut out. Certain things need to be stopped. Because like I said, you're looking to feel fabulous. You don't like this energy that drains you and sucks the life out of you. You don't like having this anxiety. You don't like disappointment. So, you, you kind of, maybe you're giving a person an ultimatum. You either cut it out or yeah, or you two may separate but you're letting them know certain things you need to cut out, stop doing, if you want this relationship to undergo a new beginning. Yeah, because you're looking to feel great again. You do not like this energy that your person has put you into. Disappointment, anxiety. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, you, for some of you, you feel like this person is your soulmate, but... Whatever they did is not making you very happy. So you kind of go cold on them. And you let them know you just got to cut it out. Yep, put a stop to it. Because you want a good relationship. The Nine of Pentacles is about a good relationship. Yeah. So Libra, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below how to extend it to this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. And we're all going to get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next reading, just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, the roles can be switched. You could be them. They could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Don't forget to wear those headphones. Like I said, I don't know why some people say they can hear me and others say they cannot hear me. So Libra, I can never say enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.